So, this is pretty good one. I actually like this one. I thought it was more comical than anything else. Police unions outraged over painting a U.S. Capitol that depicts cops as animals. Oh, huh, you don't say. I absolutely love this. The work features signs that reads, Racism kills and stop kills, a slogan that appears to be cut off by protesters in the foreground. Slogans like this have been regular features at demonstrations since the officer killed black teenager Michael Brown in 2014. So, <laughs> um, police officer association responded to this. They're basically saying that all police officers who wear the uniforms are racist and kill African Americans. And that's not true, Paul Kelly, president of San Jose Police Officers Association, told the Bay Area News Group. It absolutely may trigger someone else to say, I'm done with this. I'm going to take action. I'm going to kill a cop. Yeah, let's bring that down, dude, because that's pretty... Yeah, I, I look, I see you as this. I see you as animals. I honestly do. And you know what may incite to people killing cops? Cops killing people who are unarmed. It's artwork. Get over yourself. He's giving you some criticism. Take the goddamn criticism. You fucking earned it. And in situation after situation, when these guys murder somebody, their first thought is, well, I mean, let's let, this, let's let it play out. It didn't play out when you murdered the guy, did it? Yeah. This was in protest to something that you guys did. And no, I don't think all police officers killed these cops, but that report from the Justice Department about your department was pretty damning. And it definitely showed bias, and they were pretty explicit that the tenor of your department was pretty damn racist. Now, whether or not you kill Michael Brown in, you know, in that, under that fervor, I don't know. Um, do I know your department practices as a whole? Yes, I take the Justice Department as word on that one. So, yeah, get over it. Get over it. Uh, you can't be, if you're that thin skin, you need to go into some other line of work. Oh, and by the way, you want to know why they think you guys are animals? Republican sheriff wants to make prison inmates build wall, Bill's Trump border wall. He essentially wants to use prison labor to build a border wall between Mexico and the United States. I can think of no other project that would have such a positive impact on our inmates in our country than building this border wall. Bristol County Sheriff Thomas Hodgson. Hotch Did I pronounce that right? Hodgson. Hodgson. Hodgson said in a swearing-in ceremony for the fourth term in office late Wednesday. Aside from learning and perfecting construction skills, the symbolism of these inmates building a wall to prevent crime in, building a wall to prevent crime in communities around the country and to preserve jobs and work for opportunities for them for other Americans upon release can be powerful, he said. Building a wall to prevent crime in communities around the country how the fuck is that wall going to stop crime in other communities? Because those rapist Mexicans, like Man, chosen. that's fucking amazing. I, you know, when I read this the, article, the, the I missed Mexicans that the first time. Out. We got to keep those Mexicans, they're rapists and criminals, and if we can just keep those Mexicans out, our crime rate is just zero. And look, what better than keep the Mexicans out than black slave labor or slave labor with the people in the prisons? I'm saying black, it was whoever. I hide. Um, group in prison. But slave labor. I mean, what do you call it when the state forces people to do work for, for little to no money? I mean, you can say little money, but they're being paid like cents on a dollar. That's called slave labor. And is that, why does the United States have to be kept being told, hey, you know, it's not right to put people in bondage. And when you do put them in bondage, it's not right to force them to work for you. Particularly not to build some dumbass wall that is wholly unnecessary. Do you know, look, do you know that the migration between the border, guess the number. Guess, guess what the rate is right now. What is it? Zero. Zero. And Obama has been deporting Hispanics left and right. He deported more in his presidency than the last few combined. Um, yes. Immigration is not a problem. If and look, it's not like you guys are going to crap any kind of decent immigration policy or anything like that. You're going to make up some dumbass ideological policy that doesn't suit or help anybody. So, 
This is fucking insane. And yeah, I do think this guy's an animal. So, let the guy put his picture.